What is up guys, Major Map I am, welcome back to City Skylines. And uh, Magtropolis is looking pretty damn good. It's looking awesome. Uh, to start this episode guys, I wanted to start over here, this is our zoo. Um, put our icons back on, you can see it's got no electric. Um, and it's been like this for a couple of episodes, wait, yeah, a couple of episodes now. Uh, what I wanted to go ahead and do guys, I want to do a little bit of the building on this one through the night. Uh, it is starting to get on now, but I want to do some landscaping over here first before darkness falls. Uh, so, that's why I choose to start this one at the zoo. Um, I just want to go ahead and create like a horseshoe effect with like some hills around it. Uh, to basically put our animals in. some animals in. In this area here, I think I'll separate it into two. And we maybe put in some elephants and some horses. So I'm just going to go and dot in a few animals and then I know what's going where and then I can create the pens around these guys. Um, I think I want to keep the zebras separate our horses. So we'll go with this, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lots of horses. Put a couple of them together. Are these all facing the right same way. Uh, kind of. Right, there we go. So we've got some horses. I'll tidy that up and change it. Over time, we've got some heifalumps. Uh, we're gonna have like one. We'll have like uh, three. Or five heifalumps. Right, there we go. So we've got our elephants there. The next up, hmm, we'll go with giraffes alongside here. So if we can go and get our giraffes and just plant one on there. How about 
one, two, three, and then one right beside all the four. All the four giraffes. Some zebras to go in and some more horses and some penguins, but I haven't yet thought about them, so I'll figure them guys out and then we'll put them in. But uh, yeah, our zoo is starting to come together, guys. Gonna need some electric, which it will get in due course. Um, but I think for now, that gives me enough to play with now to go ahead and attack off cam. Get some shape, but look at it. It looks beautiful. <laughs> right. So, let's go ahead and do some... A little bit of the harbour, I think. We'll come back to that in a second. I'm going to go and do a little bit of the bus station. I want to pop in, just change the location of our bus station so we can go ahead and remove this one. Right, okay, guys, so I've gone ahead and removed that. Uh, I want to put a smaller bus station in and I connect this bus station eventually with our tram line via like a, a little overpass or something. Uh, so our bus station is just a ready made one by somebody on the workshop. Oh, bus, lane, uh, bus station 4. We're going to go straight road and run it grass verge. Just up the side of our air camera centre. Cross the back of it as well. To there. And then the back of the train station as well. And that creates a nice little spot there for a multi-storey car park. I suppose we can go ahead and put in now. Oh my god, something like that maybe. I'm feeling that might be the solution. Yep, 50 G's, boom, it's in. There we go, so a nice little money story at the back of our Air Canada Centre and at the back of our bus um, train station. Uh, alongside here we want to put the bus station, so I'll just go and grab that again. That was in our roundabout menu. This one here. I just want to place that alongside here. Now this is just a template for me to use and then I will just customise it to our liking. So I'm going to put it something like, like that, I think. Yeah, boom. And there we go. It gives us a starting point. A little bit on the wibbly wobbly side. Yeah, it'll, it'll do. It's a good start. Uh, yeah, like I say, I want to connect that with an overpass across this road to our tram station. Link it all up and make it nice and dense. Put some foliage and stuff in the other parks. Uh, and then I do want to start putting in more buildings in and around here. One thing I do want to go, go ahead and do, guys, right about now, is connect our Eiffel Tower and that up. Because these guys, since we put them in, have actually never been connected to our city. Which I didn't realise until like not that long ago. So, I would like to go and do that now. And I'm going to start this by just taking our police station and moving it again. These guys will be sick of being up heaved and moved elsewhere, but... So what? 12 grand. It's in there. And yeah, I want to go ahead and connect this road to that road. And then change what that road is. So we do further back. That and then if we downgrade that road to there, some of all of that as well, and all of this because it's a sickly and road and it really doesn't need a baby because there's not that much traffic on it. So. Alright, you know, I need a snazzy way to connect this then. And just go and grab that head. Pull that through there, like so, right. Single road with trees, and just run it straight. We're gonna go for something like that, and something like that, and then can I connect that onto there? Well, I need to delete a little bit. Move that a little bit there, and try again. Right, there we go. So that is connected onto there. Right. Mm. Oof. 
free form of this, I think. From there to there. And probably this side as well. I'm not sure if this road is going to be permanent, guys. Because I'm not sure what I make of this. I never really thought of how I was going to connect this up, so... I am just winging it. I'm going to go with that for the time being, because these have never actually been connected up, so it won't harm them to have a road in and out to deal with policing and also out the rubbish there. Um, right, electric. You go and give them some of. Uh, something like that. For now. And then same there, like that. And that'll at least deal with that for them, and then obviously when the police get the finger out and actually get round you and do something, I'll deal with them. But now all got electric. The village over there has got electric as well, which I didn't realise was missing. Um, but yeah, right. Let's head on down to our harbour again. And I just want to go ahead and get rid of this, guys. You, you're out of here. There's some happy people, there's some sad people, but overall. It's merely sad. <laughs> Alright. I want to go ahead and just drag this down. Now, I'm debating whether to bring it down to our bridge. All the way down to our bridge, even. Uh, that's this seawall here. Run all the way down to our bridge, or whether to stop it a bit further up. So, I'm going to make a start on it, and then I want to see what I make of it as I go on. And if I feel it's getting too much. Uh, then we'll stop because the only thing that bothers it about is the fact that you can't put angles on it So it's all straight up and down Which can be a little bit dull I feel Right, we're gonna go to there. I'm gonna pause this time actually because the water's gonna start in a few hours It's just occurred to me if it hasn't done already Which I fear it might have D zone. All of this. Temporarily. And I can't play time, so I'm just going to have to remove that. Up as well. Let's just drag that straight through there. And let's see straight away that it's actually starting to go up with the road, with the water even, so I'm gonna have to stop it there for now. Uh, I'll grab the seawall, I'll do that little bit of the seawall there. And then I think. Yeah, I've got two unique buildings that I want to put in, and I'm gonna call it a day on this episode, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the seawall. This here is what we were using, so I'm just going to put a lot of these in. Right, so there we go. And we need to just grab a height. Grab that height. Just remove the front of this. Like so. And then there we go. Um, yeah, guys, I I'm definitely going to co continue with that at least to halfway down here. So at least to about here, I think. Um, then I'll see what I make of it and whether I want to continue to or under the bridge. I think it would look nice under the bridge. I just feel that changing the height of the land round, like underneath the start of the bridge here to accommodate this is going to change the height of the bridge which is in turn just going to be a bit of a pain in the backside so I'll see if I can make it work if 
if it looks good. But um, yeah, it is looking pretty cool. Let's just play it down again. I am, pr I am very happy that we've done this bit down here. I'm, I think it's going to look awesome when it's done. Um, okay, right, two buildings I want to put in, or one statue and one structure. I wouldn't say a building, but first up, we will go with a level one unique building, which is this here, the Lazaret Plaza. Campo Health be something to be proud of. Apparently, yes, the Lazaret Plaza is a scenic area. Where people like to visit requirement for building a medical center. So I just wanted to go ahead and put that at the bottom here if we can. Up there. Oh. Hmm. Should we go there? Should we put a building in there? No, we'll go on with that. Boom. It's in. Whoa, wait, seventeen and a half thousand. Hey, <laughs> it'll be all right down here. Oh, I'm getting water up. I'm having floody, floody times. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, one more building, and then we'll call it a day. Is a driving range. I did want to put this in the last episode. That's how I realised that our golf course had gone, which I've decided I'm going to put back in, but not the golf course as it was, where it was like little plots that were put in because by the game no longer loads them, plus um, I have the stuff now to actually just make a golf course. So I have the green, I have flags and things like that, so we can just go ahead and make our own. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and put this building in. This is a driving range. Uh, and here it is. Yeah, it's the only building in here, I think. Oh no, we've got one more to unlock that needs to go in, which is the casino. We need 5,000 squares of specialization built, but that'll be cool. Right, this is going to go in over here somewhere. And the driving range offers perfect facilities to relax and practice your swing with professional instructors at your disposal. Should I put it there? I'm going to move one of these. You know what it is? I, I'm going to remove one of these driving ranges and put in so we'll get rid of that. Okay, we'll just put this in here, guys. 75,000! Get some electricity, please. <laughs> Look at that, that looks pretty cool. Awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.